Today will be a little bit different than usual. I will not make a demonstration of techniques on a single bonsai, but I would like to talk about a different way of exhibiting Shohin bonsai, something I have been thinking about for a long while. And uh, it really took a kick off at the latest trophy in Belgium uh, last year. And we don't know when we are going to do that again because of this banned virus. But anyway, I will like to address to you why I began thinking seriously about changing something in the way we are exhibiting Shohin Bonsai. And it started at a tour around that special exhibition because there was a lot of large trees, big trees, massive trunks and a much uh, powerful expression among some of the, those trees. And then when I walked around, came into the Shohin exhibition that is part of the big, big exhibition but at a separate row, it somehow didn't work the way I wanted to. When I viewed the big trees and just turned around the corner and saw the small trees, they, s they almost drowned in my mind because of the impression I just had from the larger trees. And my wife said the same, she's an artist, and said, well, the small trees are, are beautiful, but when you just have looked at those big trees, they do not make the same impact. And that's true. If you have a uh, special exhibition only with Shohin, you will not notice that because your mind is focused on the small trees and the beauty of these. But when they are in competition with large trees, even though they are placed at a separate row in a separate department, you have already witnessed some large, powerful trees and the small trees do not compete with that very well. So I began thinking about what can we do with the show an exhibition so it has a little bit more uh, impact on the viewers. And uh, I'm not into distracting uh, from the bonsai. I cherish a lot of ways of trying to uh, change the way we exhibit uh, bonsai, but I still think that the most important thing in a bonsai display, of course, is or are the bonsai displayed. And it is really difficult to find a new way of displaying without going out on a road that will disappear from what bonsai is about. The beauty, the, the silence, uh, the simplicity and the peace and the naturalness that we want. So when you begin to put artificial elements into that kind of display, it somehow uh, disturbs what it's all about, I think. But that's a personal opinion. So. I began to think about is there any way else we can uh, use other materials to show the bonsai and still keep them as the main focus of at the show and display. The bonsai still have to be the main thing and when we are talking about show and bonsai it is displaying a landscape feeling and the seasonal approach is very important in the traditional way of thinking show and display. And I keep on clinging to that we have to have the heritage, the origin in our mind when we're thinking new ways of doing uh, uh, shohin and bonsai in general. My idea was to change the display so it made more impact. The trees are still small, so what can we change? We can change how we put them on the tables. So instead of using the traditional racks that you can buy for uh, a pretty decent price, but also beautiful handcrafted work. When we can change that into something more simple, maybe. Before beginning to change anything in a tradition as old as bonsai, I think it is uh, worthwhile to think about why to do it. There should be a reason to do it, not just to do it. It has to be justified in the choices you take about the elements you use and how you are viewing bonsai as a an art form. And bonsai is an art form just cling to some very deep roots to Japan and to China and you need to have that in mind when you begin to change it. It has to be in respect of the origin in order to be able to develop something that still has the value and the, the concept from where it comes from and not just... Hi Daisy, it's the cat just disturbing me in my speech. And you want to be with me? I know. 
you have to think about that and just uh, don't make changes just to make the changes. It has to be a reason to do it. Okay, Daisy, off you go. And when you are making a display, it is important to know why they are set up as they are. Johan Bonsai has a reference to the landscape painting, the old uh, Japanese scrolls and uh, Chinese scrolls where you see a waterfall or a landscape behind it. And that is exactly what the Shohan display is doing, is reflecting the landscape. A traditional uh, bonsai display is focused on the single tree, but also where it is growing in nature. So we have to have that in mind when we begin to change things. And my change in this direction is to make a reference back to nature and to the building traditions of Japan, where you preserve the wood for buildings by burning the surface. By this method, the, the wood would stand a long time, a much longer time as when, in, in when you, compared to when you're painting it with something protecting. It's a very good uh, traditional handcraft made to make wood last in buildings in the climate of Japan. Fire is used to burn the wood, of course, and fire also has a reference to nature and how we live. Fire is uh, part of the world uh, from volcanoes or we are using bonfires to, to warm ourselves in the evening or even cook. So the burnt wood also have an aesthetical appeal to me. It has this uh, old and worn out uh, surface that shows signs of age and age is what we want in bonsai and that is a good way to refer to this in a bonsai display. At the same time I think we can bring up the Shohan bonsai display and this method could be used for any kind of bonsai display of course I'm just focusing on the Shohan in this example because I found there was missing something in the way we are displaying them. We are doing it the traditional Japanese way and that is okay, but when you compare to the big trees, something was missing uh, in, in the overall impression of the show I went to at the trophy. So I took an old apple box for fruits, collecting apples. Uh, I burned the surface and at the same time it has the same uh, qualities as the traditional rack you put up as Johan display and it looks of course different but that is the whole point it has to make a deeper impact it has to fill in the space more than the small shohin are able to do by themselves not when displayed as a uh, special shohin exhibition because then your mind is only focused on looking at small trees and you have no competition with bigger trees but at a uh, exhibition as we see them around europe and uh, most of the western world we display large bonsai in one section and shohin beside them where you in Japan have shows only for shohin and that will make a big difference. But still, let's develop the way we display but just do it uh, with a reference to why we are doing it. The display is in the background. I will uh, take it down and begin building it up again and show you how I did it and why I do like I do, how the display will work and how this is a bit different than the traditional way of setting up a Shohin display. The way a bonsai display, a Shohin bonsai display is built up is with tables. And when we're using more than one tree, several trees together, there is a tradition of how to build up a display like that. And I will follow that even though I'm trying to push it a little further here. We have a main tree always at the top of the rack. We have a secondary tree, that's me at the moment, that is pointing to the, towards the main tree and the other way around. These two are connected. These are the most important trees. Normally we say we have a conifer at top and a deciduous fruit, fruiting or flowering tree as a secondary tree to express the season. The main tree is expressing the strength of nature and therefore often a coniferous bonsai is chosen there. In Japan often it is a Japanese black pine, out of tradition, not a rule. You could put a deciduous tree here if it's just it's showing strength. And when I'm referring to all of this, it is referring to the traditions and the way it has been done for a long time in Japan. So we are clinging to that and building upon that. Within the rack we have the 
trees that fills out the landscape and that can be both deciduous coniferous trees. We are in the summer season now, a time of the year where we normally do not display bonsai publicly at the exhibition spot for a tokonoma like this one at home or a local exhibition that would be traditional enough to do that even in the summer period. The problem with the summer period is that it is the growing season and it can be difficult to have trees ready for a planned exhibition at that time. That's why we don't do it so often. But in a tokonoma you can choose what you want. Set up two or three trees or here we have seven elements. When we have more elements than three bon or two bonsai and an accent, we do not use a scroll, a landscape painting, because it will be too crowded. The simplicity is still important. Here I have done something a little bit different, trying to change how we are doing a bonsai display, because I'm adding a little more depth than normal, I'm adding a little extra trees than I would normally do and of course using the wooden boxes as a way to express the difference in the display too. Let us start positioning, placing the main tree as we normally would because this is the most important tree in an exhibition with Johan Bonsai and it has to be a strong tree so I have chosen a Ituigaba juniper with a a little bit lighter foliage than the dark green uh, Shimpaku or if you chose a dark green Japanese black pine that will look a bit different but for a summer display, spring display or even autumn display and winter for that sake all year round we could choose a tree like this. It has the power and also the freshness of the needles. The contrast between the nice part, the moss, the fine moss and it has to be absolutely clean as the tradition describes it, and in contrast with the burnt wood, that makes a neat presentation of a strong tree in the landscape. We can imagine this on a mountain slope side or just at a smaller hillside. We don't have hills in Denmark, but this could be the, Im the image of a strong tree standing on a slope. Next, let's take the seasonal approach that shows the seasons clearly, and that will in this case be a Chinese elm a corkbark elm with the fresh foliage showing that piece of the season. And I place this too at a table on top of burnt wood and the burnt wood is the, the base of this table and the tree. And if you notice the direction of this tree goes towards the main tree and oppositely point to each other. And that is not a rule, it's a guideline, but it makes a, the, the total display look peaceful when the, thing, when the items are pointing inwards into the display and not outwards. That would tip the display and make it uh, uncalm and disturbing to look at. We want a peaceful display, therefore they have to point to each other. And the main tree does that with the branch flow going this direction. And the secondary tree, the second most important tree, does the same by pointing up to the main tree, so we keep the tradition of displaying this way. Next, let's break the rule a bit by taking a mountain looking tree, a small Uniperus communis. It is smaller than the other one and here we go a little bit beyond the border of how we are displaying Shohan Bonsai. And I'm also placing it a little behind the main tree and we normally would not do that. We will keep them at line and we will keep a tree that has the same volume as these two. But using a tree that is a little bit smaller than the other ones, we keep an illusion of this being at a distance at a hillside longer away. And here we have the feeling of a landscape painting with a tree at the distance. You would not normally do that, but I try to do it in this kind of display. The next trees I have chosen to be inside the rag is a, a small cotonaster with uh, berries that will be red, changing to red in the autumn. I pl place this inside the rag and I have the field maple forest that I place at the right side inside the table and the same approach 
to the display of these trees is that they point to each other instead of out of the box. They are thinking in the box and instead of thinking out of the box, we're just burning the box. Placed on simple but beautiful tables that have a nice finish with the pots again in contrast to the burnt wood. Almost finally I place a rhodohypoxis, a summer flowering bulb plant from Africa that is a dry torrent plant. Put that beside the Chinese urn to give a seasonal feeling to the display here at summer when some flowers have faded and others come up. At the same time this is what expresses the field of the landscape, the low, low planted grass and, and small flowers growing beneath the trees. Also placed on burnt wood, placed a little aside of its other to make a more interesting feeling and uh, a connection between these small islands of growth. Finally, here I place a wonderful small uh, grass type of shrub that will grow at the low field just in front of the forest and giving a connection and a feeling of a landscape here. The pot shows some growth uh, at a lakeside, it could be some small growth and then birds flying. And this also adds a feeling of the summer or it could be a spring display or whatever. But I think I would not use this pot at a uh, winter display. I did that once but the feeling was not right because these birds gave me more a sense of summer and uh, this is what I think you should think about when you are arranging a display, what it is expressing, what is the purpose of the items you choose. The purpose of doing this type of display is to develop a new style in bonsai. No, not really. It is just a way of trying to change just a little bit, make some subtle changes, but with a purpose. So. If it should have a meaning to do something different, not just doing it. And I find the use of natural materials is appealing to me. That's a personal matter. And you can do whatever you think is the right thing to do. It will, I will love to see some different displays, but I will also love to see the traditional displays that I like very much still. Without changes, nothing happens and nothing evolves. When you look back at how bonsai was developed through hundreds of years, there is constantly a move towards something different. When you look at the traditional display, you will feel like nothing has ever happened, but it has. If you study books from the earlier on and see modern displays, even in Japan at the Kokofo Ten and, and other places, other exhibitions, you will see things happening. You will see people try to develop new expressions and I think that is the wonderful thing about this art and that is why it is art. You can evolve it and do something that is appealing to me or to you but not to somebody else. There will be different tastes. When you walk around an exhibition and look at people and see where they stop and where they go, the same goes to when you go to a gallery exhibition, you will see some people stop at a wonderful piece of a woman. Other people just pass it and stop at the impressionist the paintings just beside it. That will be the same with the bonsai exhibition. Try observe people, see where they stop, how they watch, what appeals to them may not appeal to you. And that's the wonderful thing about this art form. What I really find appealing about this type of display is the burnt wood set up against the very uh, neat and precise shape, uh, showing bonsai, it could be large bonsais as well. And the use of uh, the delicate tables, the very fine handcrafted pots, this set up against this old looking and uh, burnt wood looks very appealing to me. And I think the contrast between the old wood and the delicate work of bonsai and the pots is a very important point to keep in mind when you are doing something like this, when you are Develop, developing something new, it has to have a focus, it has to have a meaning and not just be done just because you can. You have to have a purpose with it, you have to know why you are doing it. And that is the lesson for today. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this and felt a little bit inspired to try something different with re respect of the origin. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.